afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Book Talk Wednesdays with Miss Brianne. In this weekly series, I provide briefly book, brief book talks on di the many different children's graphic novels and easy readers that we have here at the library in hopes that we encourage you to visit us during our browsing appointments and check out these awesome books. However, in today's book talk, I'm going to briefly talk about the first two books in a computer science-based graphic novel series for kids. Doesn't that sound like fun? All right, so, and this is to all my tweens out there. Imagine that you're a preteen and your world suddenly turns upside down without warning. You suddenly have to move to a new town where you don't know anybody at all and you have to go to a brand new school. And what's even worse is that there's rumors that the school is basically haunted, especially since it looks like a haunted house. Well, meet Hopper Gracie Hugh, the main character in this graphic novel series, Secret Coders. Written and illustrated by Jean Luen Yang and Mike Holmes, and published by First Second, which is an imprint of Rory Book Press and the division of Holtz Brink Publishing Holding Limited Partnership. Now, in the very first book of the series, unsubtitled, Hopper starts school at Stately Academy, and she's not very thrilled due to being a new girl. She feels that she won't be able to make new friends at her new school. However, all that suddenly changes when, due to some unusual and interesting circumstances, she befriends a boy named Eni, who is very into binaries and coding. Now this allows Harper, Hopper to develop a skill that she never even realized that she had. In addition to that, Hopper and Eni want to uncover the hidden mysteries of their interesting school which is hard to do considering that the school's janitor is always on the lookout as if he's looking to protect something. But is this janitor actually who he appears to be? What Eni and Hopper dis discover shock them. Now in the next book, the second book in the series, Paths and Portals, it's an exact continuation. It just picks off up where the first book left off. Eni, Hopper and Eni, along with Eni's friend jo Josh, discover the beginnings of Stately Academy, as well as get to know more about Mr. B, who's the school janitor. This allows the group to learn more about coding that they could even imagine. But however, one of the robots the group had borrowed gets stolen by the rugby team, who's under orders from the principal, of course. The group has to do what they can to, give, to get it back. Will they succeed? Now, this is the perfect series for any kid who is interested in computer science and coding. It's the perfect gateway to learning the logo programming language which is an old style programming language that's been around since the 70s and 80s and I even used to program with the code with this programming language. How cool is that, huh? Now this series is great in itself. Instead of having the reader passively read the passages and find out how the problems are solved, they actually ask you the questions and give the kids the opportunity to develop the code themselves before they read on. How great is that? So not only are you reading something fun, but you're learning at the same time. And this series, as a bonus, even has its very own website, which you can find in the description of this video, in the video link, and you can click on it. And this is where you can download the logo software, as well as learn how to code, download activities, and read excerpts from future books. Now, uh, overall, I give this series 5 out of 5 stars, and I recommend it to any tween who is very interested in computer science and coding. 
This is Miss Brienne, and thank you for joining me today. I will see you next week.